Cameras trained on one man. Will he shine against his former club? We're live next, so don't go anywhere. An atmosphere of excitement and anticipation here in North London at the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal and they face Luton Town. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. And it's gone behind for the corner. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Kylian Mbappe starts with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Arsenal's free kick here. Well, the focus on many of the back pages coming into today's game, very much on him up against his old club and that's never easy for a footballer a mixture of emotions well i have to say i never really played well against my old clubs i always felt the spotlight was on me i think he might find it difficult today giving it a try it could be up for grabs in it goes but it will not stand offside stewart well it looked close didn't it he certainly thought so he's making that clear to the linesman now And very nicely positioned to win it back. This looks interesting. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, that's a very impressive return, isn't it? He's been excellent, and it's not just been his goals. His all-round players look really bright this season. Decent-looking pass. Kylian Mbappe. A very timely interception. Counter-attacking chance. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. And disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Are being pressed here. And slipped through beautifully. Is it going to be? And still a chance. And there it is. An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, they love him and he loves them. It's great scenes here. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. The ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Campbell. Well, good run and good ball control. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Musiala. 
Really good build up, but no end product. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Vinicius. And saved by the keeper. He's driven in the corner. Half-hearted clearance. Stopped a certain goal. Has ice for goal. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Appear to be in two minds. Holland. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Crucial piece of defending. Chong. They might be able to get in now. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Vinicius Jr. How about the cross? And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he's not had a good first, has he? He's lacked energy, didn't get on the ball enough, and at times looked off the pace. Mind you, that could apply to the whole team. They need to improve in the second half to turn things around. Well, it's advantage Arsenal after the first 45 minutes, but still a long way from being decided here. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Luton Town facing Tottenham Hotspur. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Alexander-Arnold. Now they're sitting ever deeper. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. That's useful play. Wonderfully weighted pass. And a wretched cross, really, over everyone. Arsenal being afforded too much room. He has time to play it over. Can they convert? And it's gone in for Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. An encouraging Arsenal move. Wonderful chance. Oh, yes, a goal. Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure.
This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Giles. Pressing like that will help the cause. Pulls it back. Chance maybe. Surely. And the keeper there to deal with it. And the substitution will occur now. Yeah. And a short corner, let's see. Bearing in field here. Yeah. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? Vinicius Junior. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Oh, that's a fine looking pass. And a decent save, full credit. Well, opting for the short corner. And a fine stop. One terrific save after another. Mbappe. Nice looking move this. Is this the moment? And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. it's going to be Tahit Chong and strong play here and nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done now counter-attacking possibilities well, the danger was on, but just a fraction offside. And that will be all for this game anyway, and defeat for the visitors, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, we discussed their lack of goals before the game, but today they had defensive issues. And for me, the main problem was their reaction time when they lost possession. It was far too slow, which left the defenders too exposed to counter-attacks.
All right, just a couple of questions for you. Thanks very much for speaking to us.